Hello everybody, it's Peter, Peter the Rock. It's, uh, it's a Friday, Friday the 14th of June. This is the path I've just come along and guess where I am? Well, I'll tell you. I'll do a quick scan around the foliage and quite soon you will see where I am. There is a segment ahead of me, so I can only be at the HS2 viaduct it's about half past, well, it's about four o'clock now. Now, this will be one of the last times I can actually film across this lake because Dominique has been hurtling, hurtling the folks towards London um, and uh, will soon be out of sight from these viewpoints. Though obviously not from people who are lucky enough to have uh, drones. Doesn't seem to have moved that much in the last week. I think it's about a week since I was here last. Uh, two of the antennae are obviously um, there sticking up. I have seen other views with uh, four antennae. I just don't know how many antennae there are. Anyway, um, there is a segment ahead of me lined up, looks like quite a thin one. There are three orange suited people at the bottom seemingly of a jib right at the back of Dominique and the cross, gan cross member gantry cranes are at the front and you can see three antennae at the front. I'd love to see an antenna actually move but it looks like there's Oh, there's a duck, duck in the lake. There's a slight ripple, a bit of a bit of wind. Um, now let's let's go to uh, perhaps a, a better viewing point, just a few yards away, to see what we can see that's happened so far. I mean, one thing that has happened on the way here, I noticed that sound baffles, I think they're called. Um, have started to be inserted, everybody knows this, on the west side of the viaduct and they've reached uh, the Moorhall Road. Come, they're coming from the north northwest or the northwest um, and uh, they're not very big in fact they're only about I don't know four or five foot high so maybe the engine noise or the train noise mostly comes from the wheels. And there we have a little sort of van driving along the viaduct. Um, all sorts of uh, noises, drilling, all sorts going on. One, one particular thing that I've noticed about, about this whole viaduct is that once um, a pier is finished and it's lined up and it's got, a, it's got the, uh, the railings on it and the rest of it, doesn't necessarily mean that it is finished. There are holes un un in the undersurface of the viaduct. These are for maintenance and um, so people are using them to do some maintenance. Anyway, this is probably one of the better views. It's certainly a nice view of the segments lined up. Now, of course, from this angle, it's uh, impossible to tell how wide they are. They're nicely equally spaced and I'm sure that one sooner or later, the front one, will be heading towards the front of Dominique, which has landed. It's on, it's on land as evinced by drones that uh, I don't have. I, I have no, uh, uh, I, I'm very pleased that people do have drones and are filming this because I regard that as a as a compliment to my land-based uh, analysis such as it is. So here we have uh, one, two, three, four segments lined up. The one at the back here is about the biggest which sort of needs to go nearest to the pier. So uh, and the two in the middle look a bit thinner so they've all worked they've worked it all out 
but I can't see, for the first time, I can't see the end of the viaduct. I think it's pier, let's see, the one I saw with the, the, uh, the segment installed is straight ahead of me now in the middle. That's 18, 17, 16, 15. The one behind the trees must be 14 and that must be on the land. So, no surprises, nothing, no movements, there's been a bit of chuntering going on. <laughs> Beautiful skyline, lovely clouds, Friday afternoon, 4, 4.30, where else would anybody want to be but watching a viaduct take shape? Um, <laughs> it's a pity that they didn't actually have, what, sometimes when there are big constructions going on, they, they put a, a camera up a, a pole 50 foot up or something and then play the film back, speed it up. So in the space of a minute you see about a year's worth of development. Well, of course, it's in re real life it's not as easy as that. There are lots of complications um, along the way. So I'm, I'm certainly we're not going to attempt to do anything like that. Um, the uh, spiral staircases are a bit conspicuous by their absence, except straight in front of me, more or less randomly, there is a spiral staircase. Uh, I'm not, today I'm not going down to the Grand Union Canal, which is just behind these bushes. I'm going to try to attempt to go to the Harville Road end and see if I can film down onto Dominique from the road bridge. It's a new road, Harville Road. Uh, and uh, to, to do that I'll have to negotiate various paths perhaps I haven't seen yet. Anyway, this is my intro to uh, progress. It's obviously been, been progressing a bit. I don't measure these things. Um, I just tell you what I see. Thanks a lot for watching. It's Peter the Rock and it's Friday. The sun's out. The sun has got his hat on, whatever that means and um, you can press a, somebody said, you, you can press a bell or something and get reminded of, of my, uh, my videos. Do whatever you like, but it's been nice talking to you. Thanks a lot for watching. Cheers. Bye.